Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, how I go about backing up all my video files and my images as well. RAW files can take up a lot of space, TIFF files and JPEG, that's, you know, I, I save uh, everything that I do. And storage space on your normal laptop uh, or PC, it doesn't last forever. Now a thing about uh, hard drives, mechanical hard drives that is, they can go at any time. There, there's no set time, uh, like in, in this world, it will, it will give up the ghost at one point. Now, as a room, as a, a general idea, a hard drive, mechanical hard drive, that's what we'll be referring to, is normally you'll get four to five years, but it can go at any time, six months, a year, two years. You just don't know. Now, in a laptop or a PC, if that's where you're storing all your uh, images, and you start hearing like a grinding or a whirring noise, that's the drive telling you. Uh, that it's going to give up the ghost very, very soon. Now, me personally, uh, I have a, a hard drive uh, in my PC, which is used for storage. Also have two SSDs. SSDs, totally different kettle of fish. But what I want to discuss is the mechanical hard drives. Now, my main backup system is a NAS. I use a WD4100, 16 terabytes, and in RAID 5, that means that I can lose one hard drive and then rebuild if necessary. So all's not lost. However, if two drives go, that means I've lost uh, everything. If you go down the road of a, a NAS system, then it's advisable not to buy all the drives for that NAS from the, the same shop uh, or Amazon or wherever. You always want to vary it. Because if you get a batch and they're all the same, I possibly could go at all at the same time. Chances are it's slim, but it could happen. Now, next thing that I've, I've purchased, Backup Plus. Now, the reason that I didn't get uh, a WD one, WD, fantastic. I wanted to make vary the different types of drive. Now, the drives in here, uh, if you're a gamer, it's not the drive for you from it doesn't tell you what speed this drive is but it's certainly not a, a 7200 uh, some say uh, it's up to 5900 so as archiving this here is more than you'll ever need so I'm just going to quickly open this up See what's in the, the box. Oh. Now the good thing about this drive as well, I can set it up to back up uh, all of my files, whether it's uh, photography uh, images or video, uh, especially with 4K video. It takes up uh, a lot of space. The normal documentation. Now, if you haven't had Adobe Photoshop, you get two months free. I won't be using that. Drive itself is pretty small. Now, a point to note here, you also have two uh, USB uh, 3.0, always help, always handy. You can never have uh, enough of those. More packaging. Now the thing about this particular drive. has to have its own power supply. So your PC or laptop uh, isn't going to uh, power it. So it comes with uh, a power supply. Basically all you do is set it up, then with the 
the USB 3, plug it into the drive and then into your PC. So whenever this here drive is up and running, it means it's always turned on. Now a lot of people don't like to turn uh, their PCs off or laptops off, especially when it comes to mechanical drives. If you think about it, doing 100 mile an hour, putting the anchors on uh, on your car, it's not going to do it uh, any, any favours. My PC is rarely off. Occasionally, uh, I will then reboot it just to refresh Windows. Now, the good thing about this drive, whether you're a Mac user or a PC user, this here uh, covers everybody. I got this here from Curry's. Uh, receipts over there somewhere. But I, got, I think I got it for about £140 or, or so. So I'm going to show you how to set up a backup of this here uh, from scratch. And it's going by uh, the Seagate's uh, website. They say it's very, very simple. But we'll find out in a moment. Now before we go into uh, the Seagate uh, dashboard and set everything up, I'm just going to quickly show you uh, it's other storage. Now I've got the, the WD4100, uh, 16 terabytes. However, as you can see, it's expensive. Not everybody wants to invest that amount. Good thing about the, the WD uh, NAS system is that when I'm out and about, no matter where I am, I've got access to everything that's stored on there. Four drive B, so if one drive uh, crashes, in theory, I've got other three drives there. All I have to do is insert insert another uh, drive, and that'll rebuild. Now, the rebuild will take days. It takes a long, long time. Uh, so bear that in mind. But it is expensive. Uh, the Seagate that I've just bought, it has went up. Uh, I got it in Curry's last week, and it has up, went up slightly in price. But always uh, have a look at that. There's, you know, I mean, there's other sizes, but bang for buck, uh, it's me personally. You're better off with the eight terabyte. Now, I'm a, a firm believer that I don't overcrowd uh, my drives. That's when you find that time they're going to go wrong. Mechanical drives, as uh, the arm has to search for everything. So either when it comes to the four year point or I use seven terabytes, or just over seven terabytes, this here drive will be, be getting retired. So whenever it's, it's a lot of money, however, what price can you put on uh, your images? Now, it's, uh, it's storage, if you've got Amazon Prime, you do get, well, I do, and I'm sure anybody else that's got Amazon Prime, you do get free storage for uh, images, not video, you have to pay more for that. I don't know if Amazon is still doing it free with the Amazon Prime users. It's always worth looking at. Now, one of the other ones that you can uh, use, Backblaze, certainly nothing wrong with it. However, it does get a little bit uh, expensive uh, if this was your only one. Uh, it, it, does, it does add up. That's why I decided to go down the road of uh, a NAS system and then the Seagate back up. So these are other ones. Now what I'm going to do is download uh, the dashboard and then we'll see how simple uh, that is. So it's going to take a couple of minutes to download and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, it didn't take uh, too long uh, to set this up. I've not, uh, I've not even had a look at this here whatsoever. So you can use it for a Mac. Uh, or a PC. So let's have a look. Begin backing up all your data files to Seagate. Now I want to have a look at a new uh, backup plan. I like to make sure that I'm in control of this here as much as I possibly can. Now what I want to look at is the different folders I have because I've got quite a few uh, it's SSDs and a hard drive, two SSDs, and that's my backup that I've been using. That there's that's pretty close to being full. What I've done uh, is, is take everything off the SSDs that I possibly can, back it up, 
because the less uh, the less information that's on an SSD, it's going to run that little bit quicker. If you are rendering videos, it's better to do it on an SSD than a mechanical drive. This Seagate is going to be no use whatsoever. Well, it will work, but it'll take forever uh, to render a video. But it's fantastic. Uh, if it's for archival and that's what we're going to do so let's have a look here won't be using not on my C drive nice let's have a look so that's going to back up my video now what I really want to do is I'm, I'm, I'm getting a, another one of these as well for uh, my video but this is mainly going to be for it's my uh, for my images so we'll uncheck that at the moment you can always go back and do it now this is where I keep uh, the majority of my images so these these are everything that I've had for for a very very long time now it's, there's my Amazon Drive so we'll uncheck that there Don't need that, don't need that. That's Vegas, that's for video editing. So what I'm going to do uh, just at the moment is just use that from my F. Now anything that's on uh, my Kingston uh, SSD, that there is images for the last two years. Everything else is backed up in a an older drive now the thing is with older drives you never had the capacity uh, now you have eight terabytes still a, still a lot of uh, space on there but it says you don't want to be filling them them up so what i'm going to do at the moment is take it from here continue i'm not going to add a cloud to that i want to be in control of everything and continuously Basically what's going to happen whenever I put something into those files, uh, it's, their it's system's going to automatically start backing them up. So I save my work uh, it's on those files, then it's going to be saved to there, whether it's a, a raw file, a TIFF, uh, or a, a JPEG. So that there is what we're going to do. So let's, let's just take... Start the backup. Now, this is going to take some time because there's a lot of stuff on there. But as you can see, uh, it has started. It's going to take, I say, a very, very long time. But as you can see here, simple to set up. It means what it's on there. You're not using your, your other drives and you've got something backed up. You can never have uh, enough uh, backup. You've got the, the cloud which you, you can use an as system if you've got one and then this drive as well and it says I'm going to be getting another one of these here and using it for uh, my video don't want to keep all my, my eggs in one basket now another thing about this drive if for instance I take everything off my SSDs and it's on my NAS system if I then want to retrieve that information the end, I don't have a hard network, unfortunately, it's going to be more more trouble than it's worth. So that means I would have to download uh, all of that information. With this here drive, because it is connected to my PC, it's going to be instant. It's a pretty fast drive for archival, as it says, not a gaming machine. And uh, I'm going to be interested to see what this is like. And I'll come back to let you know how long it did actually take uh, to download. And then we'll, uh, we'll see what it's like going forward. So I'll leave it just now at the moment. Now copying the files didn't take that long. Uh, obviously it depends on how many files you have and the sizes there. Uh, it started there what a quarter to 12. It's just now past uh, 2 o'clock. So it did copy over a lot of files. Not the fastest drive in the world, but it's a, an archival uh, drive and it's all about uh, mass storage. I mean, eight terabytes, a lot of use. However, I mean, you're not going to get a full uh, eight terabytes out of it. 
Now I'm just bringing that across from one screen. So that there setup's fantastic. These are the, the drives that I have. So I'm going to be able to offload uh, a lot of these drives to clear them now. Yep, I've got everything on my NAS system. However, uh, whenever I want to get a file that hasn't been local on my PC drive, I then have to download either from the cloud or from my NAS. So with this here, it's going to be simple. As you can see, yep, it's sold as an 8 terabyte. However, the software uh, requires some. So uh, it's 7.27 uh, terabytes. Still, still a lot of storage there. So I'll just open that up. Now, how do I get to my images? Just pick this here at random. There's black and white file. So if, for instance, I've uh, got everything oh, using two monitors. Uh, if I've got something that isn't on my local drive and it's on my uh, NAS or the cloud, it takes time to download that. Depends on how fast your internet. This drive, it's a local drive. So as you can see, instantly on there. So if I have to go back and forth looking for a file, it's there. I can keep uh, my SSDs uh, free. And I'm really, really impressed with this here. Uh, it's a good bit of kit. So it's, if you're on uh, in the market for a backup and you don't have anything uh, at all, Definitely have a look at the, the Seagate Backup Plus. USB ports, uh, threes, they're, you know I mean, that's an added bonus. Now, they're not, they're not par much. However, uh, you will be able to, to charge a mobile phone uh, because that doesn't take a lot. But it's always handy to have uh, USB 3 ports. Now, it's a few, you know I mean, it's not, it's not that expensive. Uh, it's a lot, lot cheaper than a NAS or the cloud, uh, unless you're getting the cloud for Amazon for free, that is. But definitely have a look at that there. So hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this uh, a quick video on the ways that I back up uh, all my files. You can never have enough backup. Thank you.